Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Sally Hansen Bubblegum and Tutti Frutti. I'm going to use the Moira Stamping Plate 01 Florality 02. I started off with Neltix Formula 2 and here is, I'm sorry it's not coming in, Sally Hansen Bubblegum and then now Tutti Frutti. These are some polishes Shannon sent me. I'm in love with them. So I'm going to cap my free edge first. You guys know I'm a pink polish fan. I just love this stuff. Can't get enough. And this one's really nice. It is a bubblegum pink. It is named appropriately. And it's just, uh, I love it. It's bright, but not in your face. It's definitely a whited out bright pink. You know, I mean, you know it's pink when you see it on your nails. The camera's kind of washing it out just a little bit. So I'm having to go in and fix up by my cuticle. I missed a spot. But lucky enough, that brings Woody out to play. Hi, Woody. How you doing? And now we're going to go in for our first coat of Tutti Frutti. Now I'm really impressed that this Krilly is by a drugstore brand. And, you know, I mean, look at the payoff on that. It's just amazing. I love it. The base is like a real sheer, super sheer baby pink. So I'm going to manipulate some more of these little glitters around to get them kind of spread out. But that's one coat. And now we're going to go in with our second coat of bubblegum. Beautiful formula. It levels out really nicely. I like the brush. I, I just love everything about it. And now for a second coat of Tutti Frutti. Who doesn't just like saying Tutti Frutti? I do. But I do love it. I love all the different colors of glitters in there. There's different colors and different sizes. And I kept staring at it thinking, what color was I going to stamp with? Ugh, so many decisions. So I'm going to top it all with some Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls to get it to dry down so that we can do our stamping portion of today's manicure. I'm in love with this top coat. It's just, it's really, really nice. I like that it doesn't stink like nail polish. I mean, you know, anything that makes this um, sitting down and playing more enjoyable is great. But it dries really fast and it smells good and it's glossy. And it's working really well to cover all those glitters. Those glitters aren't too bad sticking up, but you know, you know how we are about our glitters. We want them to lay nice and flat and be smooth. <clears throat> and here's the Mora Florality 2 plate. I'm gonna be using this image right here today. And I'll be stamping with Nicole Diary, and this is Cerulean Polish. They forgot the H on the end of it, but, and the silver in SO4 from Nicole Diary also. My monocle stamper and my clear jelly scraper will be in play today. So I'm just gonna go over that image really well. Scrape, pick up that image, and put it on the nail. So I've done it in silver. Oh, I'm cleaning that off on a lint roller. And I'm gonna hop in real quick with a piece of tape. Say I've already done a couple of nails, so um, I've Today it was do it real quick day. Now I'm going to clean the plate with pure acetone and I'm going to use the Cerulean Polish also from Nicole Diary um, to double stamp this. I am turning into a double stamping junkie because I like playing so double stamping is just more fun for me. And now we're going to do that same process on my pinky nail. Going in with the silver first. And, and that does look like a little shamrock in the middle of that design. And it is ending up on all of my nails. And of course, it's after St. Patrick's Day. So I figured doing it in this kind of a cornflower, cornflower cerulean blue would be okay. There we go. I'm going to top everything with the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. Well, all the stamp nails. I'm not putting that on my glitter bomb nail over there. 
There we go. And I am going to apply the Fast and Hard Top Coat from Vibrant Vinyls over everything. I am even going to go over that Glitter Fest going on on that ring finger again. Just because. <clears throat> Hi Woody, how you doing? Back again. Mommy's making messes. So there we go. I really enjoyed this one. I would love to hear what you think about it. Here's my swatch photo. Leave me a comment down below telling me your thoughts. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.